picking on something you just said about don't announce your pronouns. I was speaking to a friend of mine a few months ago who was asking for some advice. Um, she started a new job um, and was asked to put a pronouns in an email. It wasn't a directive, it was, this is what we do. It's up to you if you do it or not. So she did it. And then that was the first bit of conversation. The second bit of conversation, she was saying her next door neighbor, um, their 20 odd year old daughter who she's watched grow up from a baby is now trans um, and is driving the parents crazy. And, and it, 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 it's, it's gone off the rails on this. And she was asking me, why has that happened and stuff like that? And I said to her, well, part of the reason is because people she knows and people she respects and people she engages with have pronouns in their emails. And that sends a message to them that all this is acceptable. So when you said to me a minute ago, you've put your pronouns in your emails because you thought it was a nice thing to do. This is the consequence of your next door neighbor. This is where it leads to not directly, you know, maybe through a thousand or a million steps, but you need to understand the consequences of not of not being truthful about not speaking up and about being slightly slightly being a coward because you don't want to upset anybody because we live in a world and i want to live in a world where the truth is always our go-to point the truth is not always comfortable the truth can be very upsetting and can be very damaging sometimes but it's the truth life's hard all our lives are hard sometimes it goes up and down and telling young people especially young people that life can be easy or we don't have to be truthful and we don't have to live in reality it's basically child abuse because we're damaging that person for the rest of their life and they're never going to be happy because we've never given the tools to overcome some of life's difficulties and to be stronger to be more resilient and to be an adult that's what we're doing to the next generation and we're, we're all partly responsible for that.